Hello pumpkin people, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna have just like a smorgasbord. I always try to say that word and I can never get it right. But I'm gonna have a sort of just quick fire mashup of some different places I went shopping today. So I decided to make shopping my cardio for the day. Like literally I checked my fitness pal, the app, and all I've done is walk around to go shopping and I have walked like two and a half, almost three miles today just from window shopping and a little bit of real shopping. I'm at this plaza strip center kind of an area um, by me that has Target, which I went into, Michaels that I went into, Home Goods, which I went into, and they had no fall, but there's also a TJ Maxx, and they did have fall, so I went in there. There's a Dollar Tree, I went in there. They didn't have any fall except for floral. I went into Big Lots, they did not have any fall. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I found in the order that I found it. It's just gonna be kind of an informal voiceover video. Now the first place I went is Target, and I just wanna put this out there first in case you wanna skip over Target. They don't have actual fall at Target, but they have the Studio McGee Fall Launch, which is, it's an everyday collection of decor, but it's a touch fall inspired. So there are like maybe two or three pieces from the collection that are actually fall. So if you want to skip over that, I will put a time marker right here. I just pretty much videoed the things that I felt like would work well for fall, but everything else is actually fall and just quick little snippets of the things that I thought were worth sharing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now let's get into it. Okay, so looking at some of this fall Studio McGee home decor that has recently been released, I really love this pillow. This is definitely fall inspired. It has pine cones, leaves, I think I saw pheasants and maybe pumpkins on the print. And these pillows are $22. They do have a zipper so that you can take the pillow cover off and wash it if needed. Now, Studio McGee, Shay McGee, she's known for her pillows. She does the best prints on her pillows, and this one is no exception. I love the cool little detail how the plaids don't quite match up, and also the zipper is gold, and there's a little leather tassel on it, and this pillow is also going to be $22. So they're a little bit on the pricey side, but they're choppable, as you can see. Um, she also released some of this furniture in this gorgeous, gorgeous beige colored velvet. I did not see pricing on this. I apologize. Now this wreath, this is one you could use all year, but there are just little elements to it that make it feel like a fall wreath. I think the little bit of magnolia on there. There's also eucalyptus pods that you'll see. I'll show you these little silver pods on here that kind of give it a cold weather vibe. And a lot of the greenery on here looks super realistic. So I really, really like this wreath. I actually purchased this pillow in the larger size and I hauled it in my early fall haul. So this one I think is $22. Um, yeah, $22, but the larger size that I have is $30, and it has just a little bit of rust striping on the edge. I also love, love, love this blanket. It has the coolest kind of plaid design in it. Um, it's very unique, and Shea McGee is really good at kind of elevating normal basic patterns to be a little bit more elevated, like I said, but I also love this blanket that has no pattern to it whatsoever. There's just really great texture in there and it's a good quality blanket. These are $30 though, so they are not cheap. I mean, that's really expensive, but they are beautiful. Now, I, I do have this wreath here. I did not get a price, I apologize, but I think that one is $30. Studio McGee is doing a lot of these faux rubber plants. Now I have a real rubber plant and the reason why I love it is because it has the brown look underneath the leaves and it's a really dark foliage. So it kind of gives you fall vibes, although it's not, it's not a magnolia, but it looks like a magnolia. And that blanket that I really liked in the kind of brownish beige color comes in this dusty blue. 
that's perfect for year round. And this pillow here is actually a part of the summer collection. It has this kind of rosy rust color that you could definitely pull off in the fall and that one is $22. So here is something that I was curious to see in person. It is this vase with these plum colored stems in it. And I want to really show the scale here, but I was struggling. So I'm going to move it somewhere else so you can see just how big it is. Uh, this piece, I had higher hopes for the quality of the leaves, but it is beautiful at a distance. You will need to put this somewhere um, that has a lot of space though, because I hope you can see just how large those branches are are and how far they extend but the color is really really beautiful and i've told you guys several times now that i am going to be incorporating that color this year now they also have an oil painting or a faux oil painting for 25 dollars i just hauled some digital prints that i got from etsy that were five dollars and then i printed them off from walmart for five dollars so for ten dollars i got the look for less um, I love, love, love this mirror with the leather edging and that's it for the collection. I did quickly pop over to the women's clothing section and I noticed fall trickling in there as well, especially in the purses. So look at this like plaid purse, kind of gives me clueless vibes and the olive green, they have the rust and the dusty blue. Uh, these are really cool. They're like convertible from... Um, an arm or a crossbody bag to a shoulder bag and then there are also these ones that convert from a crossbody to a backpack so you know we're getting close to back to school time when you start seeing backpacks show up in the stores and Target has the most gorgeous elevated adult backpacks that I've ever seen I think I might go back and get this one honestly um, I have a trip coming up that I think that would be great for and here I'm just showing you all of the fall colors that they are incorporating into their bags. I was very excited to see this small selection of fall and Halloween at TJ Maxx. So they have this wreath for $19.99 with the natural elements on it and the sunflower. They also have a few different fabric pumpkins in different patterns for $7.99. This one is like faux fur. And then my favorite thing are these jack-o'-lantern cauldrons that are made out of metal. I actually collect these in copper. This larger one is $14.99 and these are such high quality. If you see these in your TJ Maxx or Home Goods, go pick them up and you will be so shocked at how nice they are, especially for the price. Like this little one is only $6.99 and this is something you can have for legit forever. I just, I'm obsessed with these. The copper ones are my favorite. It took everything in me to not take these three home. I, if they would have been all copper, it would have been game over. I would have gotten them, but I don't have any black ones yet. So I'm, I'm on the fence, but $12.99 for the three of them. And I was thinking it would be so cute to hang them off of shepherd's hooks with flameless tea lights in them outside along the walkway on Halloween night for the trick-or-treaters. They also have these super, super cute little felt garlands these are six feet long this one has the jack-o'-lanterns and the ghosts and this one has the pom-poms and the adorable smiling ghost um i think these are going to be really big this year $14.99 for this one um i saw these a bunch in years past and i just the little felt thing i think that trend is still going strong this year i also saw this mummy for $16.99 and um i made the mistake of pressing the try me button and you can see he dances but he dances to a very loud and long portion of michael jackson's thriller <laughs> so just so you know if you see him in stores it is very loud and very startling and it goes for quite a quite a long time they also have these cauldron jack-o'-lanterns and this one is so cool especially if you do like a modern Halloween, the bright gold interior and the, the matte black outside, the scalloped edge. This is just so, so cool. Again, I prefer the copper ones, but these ones were just 
my heart was racing seeing these. So there is a smaller size and the smaller size is $7.99 and they look amazing next to each other. They also have a lot of sunflower arrangements, which I want to say that they're a pretty decent price here compared to like the craft stores. There's a lot of different sizes and variations here ranging from like $7.99 all the way up to $24.99 and they look good um, they I would even say they maybe look better than the ones that I've seen at the other craft stores including Joann's which I've said before I'm a Joann's stan so it kind of pains me to say that but these ones are pretty nice and even these pink ones I think this pink um, for $24.99 that pink is definitely like an autumn pink so I thought that was kind of cool they also had this dried bunch which I love. I am so into the dried look. I have been for the past few years, so I was happy to see that. They have some truck decor, if you like that. And this one reminds me of the one that I saw at Kirkland's that I think was close to $60. This one is only $30. It does have the pink sunflowers in the back though, but if I bought one of these, I would constantly like switch out what's in the back, even if it meant like pulling out something that was glued in just to make it work for all seasons and be more versatile. These smaller ones are $19.99 and the truck is like a really dark inky blue that I think is beautiful. And of the sunflower arrangements that I saw, this one was the most striking to me with the uh, glossy black vase. It just, the black really sets off the sunflowers. So they also got in their skinny syrups. These are zero calories. I think it's zero carbs, zero sugar. You can add them to coffee, desserts, um, protein shakes. And um, I actually don't like adding syrups to my coffee, but I have tried these before and they're pretty tasty. I just personally like a plain coffee, but they're $3.99. And if you are doing any gift baskets this fall for any reason, these would be amazing in like a coffee themed gift basket, which I am considering doing because I mentioned that I'm doing a couple gift baskets for a bridal shower and I was thinking of doing a coffee theme or a cider theme or maybe a spiced wine theme. They also have this huge one if you drink a lot of this stuff, $6.99. Um, so I'm not sure what the ounces are on that. I, I didn't look at it, but that's probably a good deal. And then I don't know if these are leftover from last year, but they have the Holiday Buzz Donut Shop Coffee in for $4.99, so that's like a Christmas flavor. I also saw these fall-themed caramels. They are so cute with the bow on them and the pretty label. These would be awesome in a gift basket as well because they just, they look like a gift already. And then the last thing I saw that I loved are these little serving boards with the silver sunflower on it. These are giving me really high-end vibes, especially for $12.99. They kind of look like a Michael Aram piece if you guys are familiar, so I think those are really cool. So Bath & Body Works has brought out new packaging and new fall candles. So we just saw flannel, marshmallow fireside, mahogany apple, which I don't particularly like this one. I'm going to be honest. I do like, I like apple-y spicy scents or like pumpkin scents during the fall. I don't go for mahogany or, or anything kind of cologne. But my favorite candle is leaves which is what i'm showing you here and i love the packaging on all these i think it's it's simple elegant sophisticated and i adore the copper lids these are my favorite lids that bath and body works does i just i can't stand it when they when they do these like in a good way i can't stand it like i i love it so much so cranberry woods is back and in the red really pretty like maple packaging and then harvest pomegranate one of you told me that you got this and you love it i smelled it and i really like it too it smells more like apple to me than anything else so they have one little candle holder that i saw and i couldn't remember if my store or my shop with me video last time if they had this cozy cashmere candle so i wanted to show you that 
They also have these wallflower plugins for Halloween with the vampire chihuahua. He's kind of velvet. And then they also have a sugar skull with the gems, like the pink and green gems. These are $14.50, so they're a pretty penny. They also have room sprays finally at my Bath & Body Works. They did not have these the last time I was here in all of the best fall scents. And they also have one Halloween one here, which is Vampire Blood. I have already shared all of these candles in my last Bath & Body Works video. These were the first ones that came out at my store about a week ago or maybe two weeks ago now. So you can check out that video if you want to see them. Fall Body Care is out. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Coconut Candy Apple, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Strawberry Shortcake. You guys have got to smell... Um, pumpkin pecan waffles if you like that candle because it smells exactly like the candle. It's a very nostalgic scent for me because that's the first candle that I ever got from Bath & Body Works and it just reminds me of the fall so I am so excited about this one. Our last stop today is Michael's and they did not have much new out. They have this little selection of signs though that I wanted to show you and all of these are $9.99. So all the ones that I'm showing you, I'm pretty sure they're $9.99. It was kind of like somebody got lazy and was like, heck, I don't feel like, you know, pricing these out. Let's just say they're all $9.99 or something. So they have these like little coffee cup things that I think are going to be super popular for people's tiered trays and coffee bars. I like this one of the two the best because I just, I like the colors of that. They also have these signs that have like a tin enamel inspired front, but they're actually just a little wooden sign. It says, hey there, pumpkin. And then this one with the fall words on it. They also have these ones up here um, with the wooden frames and this longer one. Now, my favorite sign here is coming up, although I don't really decorate with these wordy pieces, so I won't be picking any of these up, but stressed, blessed, and pumpkin spice obsessed. I actually think that's kind of funny. So that's my recommendation of the lot. Fall means football. I think the husbands and, and sports fanatics will like that. Pumpkin spice junkie with the plaid on the side that has like a tin um, front on it. Now be careful with some of these pieces. You can see here that the stem popped off on that pumpkin, but this, I like the look of this. It says, hello pumpkin, and it has kind of a primitive feel with the pit berries and the raffia and the natural kind of like stick stem. So I do like that. And just a couple other little signs here. Leaves are falling and my coffee is calling. Um, they also have the monogram pumpkins back. How cute would it be to like get every one of your Thanksgiving guests one of these pumpkins and to put it on their plate at your table? These are $4.99 um, and they have just the gold polka dots, letter, and stem. There's also these felt garlands. So we saw the felt garlands at TJ Maxx and Michaels has them too. So that's why I think they're going to be popular again this year. I saw one fall throw pillow here. It says, hey fall for $29.99 and the little pumpkin print on it. The back is just plain. Um, and they put out a few new wreaths. I thought this one was really pretty. The colors on it are gorgeous. Like those are my colors. I love that for $59.99. So these are expensive. This is more expensive than Joann's even. And I adore this wreath. I, I just love this so much. The colors on this are giving me life and it's also going to be $59.99. So, you know, you got to wait for these to go on sale, but this is a timeless, gorgeous, high quality wreath in my opinion. There was a lot of new floral here. I'm just going to show you a couple that I like before we head out. Um, if you're into neutrals, they have white maple leaves, which I thought were pretty cool. And then I picked these up last year. I have 10 oak trees in my front yard. And so I have, you know, a love-hate relationship with oaks, but this is a really pretty bunch of leaves that has a lot of color to it, but it's still kind of muted. And I don't know if these are new this year, but for whatever reason, I was so drawn to these mustard leaves. Um, the shape looks realistic, the color is beautiful, and I think these are $12.99, so not a terrible price whatsoever. 
Well, I mean, come on, that is kind of a bad price, but in comparison to some of the other things we've seen, it's not as bad. I did want to show you guys these little critters. Dollar Tree does carry those owls, and they don't carry all these other little critters, but they're, they're really expensive, obviously, compared to Dollar Tree. And then lastly, there are a few doormats. Um, these are going to be $19.99, really just, you know, cutesy, fun fall prints my favorite one is the one at the very top that you guys will see in just a second that is a pumpkin tell me that it's not almost fall because this tree is changing colors and it's not just the type of tree it is because here are the other ones and there's one down there that's starting to change a little bit of color as well but check that out dang if this was not a public area I would clip a few branches of that and put it in a vase and pretend like it was fall turn up the AC and pretend like it was fall all right so I am done with my shopping that was what I saw today I also there is a, a Mojave Lobby and a Joann's in this area but it is around two or I'm sorry it's around 3 30 right now so I think I'm gonna head home I told my husband because I have to really give the house a good deep cleaning today and I told him that I just needed to go gallivant around the town and get some fall serotonin before I take on the task of deep cleaning my house. So I've been gone for quite a while. And as far as purchases for the day, I bought one thing and I'm not sure if I got a clip of it or not. It's not fall related, but I thought I'd tell you anyways. I got a new mirror from Target from the Studio McGee collection. Um, I, it's an oval shape and it has a leather um, a leather border around it and then it hangs off of a knob instead of just going straight onto the wall like with hooks in the back so I thought it was super cool and unique and I'm always looking for um, pieces that have just like something a little bit different about them so I thought that was awesome and I'm really excited that my store had it because I saw it online and I think it was sold out when I looked at it online um, so that was everything for today. We're going to keep looking for the fall and Halloween everywhere we go. Did we see Halloween? Yeah, we saw a little bit of Halloween. Not at Michael's. I was wanting Michael's to have all their Halloween picks out because uh, I've seen some people's stores do have that stuff out, but mine did not, unfortunately. But I am going to head out now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, my pumpkin people, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.